What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video uh, right off the bat. Uh, the secret about MGTOW. They don't want you to know about this red pill. 3,000 dislikes to 700 likes. I wonder if they're aware that it's going to be disliked. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if it is. Well, I want to see if uh, there's a video that has like a high dislike. Like like a lady who kind of gets it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Let's get into the video. Let's see. secret that they may not be telling you in MGTOW. Now, if you're watching this video and you're like, what the hell is that? MGTOW is a group of men who have, it's, it stands for men who've gone their own way. And they are men who have decided, screw it. I'm not screwing with women anymore. Not true. Well, what's up with the music in the back? Don't diffuse the subject. You know, let let it play. Let 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 me hear your vocals. You know what I mean? Acapella. I'm just gonna focus on building me and my career and That's true, yeah. My own independence and I will just use women whenever I need sex. Uh nobody really said that. Some some are not even using women. Some are some are not even doing that. Some are just doing their own thing. Now, if you are new here, my name is Erica Angelo, and we talk about women, attraction, sex, relationships here. So make sure that if that's what you're into, that you subscribe to this channel and you turn on that notification bell. And if you haven't taken that attraction quiz, then I highly encourage you to take advantage of it right now. Now listen, before I just dispel the secret of this, I actually want to validate this group and say there is some truth to what they are saying. You know, for many men... A little validation right before she goes into the, you know, the long list of things that she don't like. They're tired of just trying to pursue women and just getting rejected. And face it, there are some women out there... Uh, well... So a lot of dudes are not really getting rejected. A lot of dudes are just tired of the bull. You know, the manipulation and, you know, laws, um, family court laws, um, you know what I'm saying? Divorce, marriage. That's a lot. Who are just straight up bitchy. And there are just some women who just want to be mad at men. And unfortunately, these guys have had encounters with some of the wrong women, women who are not in alignment with what they want, meaning they want a loving relationship. They want a woman that they can pursue and be happy with. And instead, they've been met with bitterness, resentment, and even being attacked for being a man. Well, bitterness, maybe resentful. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think we feel like it's unfair. You know, I feel like it's a, it's, it's a general ball game. You know, everybody's a part of the same ball game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. So I can see the logic in the movement of saying, fuck this. If you can't appreciate me, you can't be appreciative of what I'm trying to offer you, then fuck it. I'll just go my own way and I'll go and work on me. And there is truth to that. There is truth in being frustrated when you're trying so hard at something and someone basically says, fuck you, you know, all your efforts are not worth it. They're not valid. Of course, men are going to want to give up. Hello, I can... Well, it's not even about giving up. It's about just... Um... Just realizing your most return on investment. So, I mean, it's a matter of perspective, you know. Not everybody's MGTOW, you know what I'm saying? But some people just feel like the return on investment is small. Now, but you might get another guy who's blue pill 
and he might think oh no uh, messing with women is i'll get the most investment ever because i'm gonna be around her and i could get her validation and i could get sex so it's a matter of perspective at the end of the day completely understand that but the secret is that they're not telling you is this when you shut down your heart when you become cold and cynical to women because truth be told everyone wants to be loved everyone wants to have that relationship where they can i said it before man men don't need to be loved they need to be respected that's it they don't need to be loved love is something that people always t they just throw it out there and they'd be like oh you need to be loved i feel loved that if i told you one day you'll find a woman who's going to respect you who's going to validate you and encourage you who's going to make love to your body who's going to enjoy sucking your cock at night who loves touch i don't like the way she said that she's too old to be saying that <laughs> she's too old to be saying that He's too old to be saying that. ...on your body who loves going on adventures and traveling the world with you. If I said that woman existed, hell yeah, who would not be down for that ride? And the only way you get to that girl is from being cold. You don't get that, you don't get that girl from being a blue pill simp. So in actuality, MGTOW is more closer to that girl than anyone else. But when you shut yourself completely down, that no longer becomes a possibility. Why? Because relationships, you got to have heart. You can't have walls and you can't have armor going, you'll never come in. I will never let you in again. That That's false. That's false. Stop it. Stop it. Modern day, the worse you treat a woman, and I'm not saying like bad. I'm saying like indifferent and distant and cold. The more you treat her that way and the more you reveal these things to her, the more she wants you. Period. When's the last time a dude bought flowers for a chick? That don't work no more. Sending poems and all of this, love letters, that don't work no more. Don't text back. That works. Don't respond. That works. Hit her up randomly in the middle of the night. That works. Unfortunately, will keep people very lonely and cynical for the rest of their life. And face it, this world is already hard as it is. So why the hell would you want to become a cynic? Why? So that you can survive? So that you can buy more cars, more stuff? And then what? And when you die, where does that go? What do you do? Hold on. I got to look up the word cynical. Let me let, let, let her keep Do talking. That I just... stuff. Unto what? You're building unto what? So, yes, while the movement, while I understand and I can validate these men's their pain and. Bruh, cynical? I just looked it up. Believing that people are motivated by self interest. That's people. People are motivated by self interest. That's not even just men. That's not MGTOW. That's everybody. People are motivated by self-interest. And that goes to what I was saying. Love. Love is egotistical. People just want to make... But how you make me feel. And they put in love on top of it. Their frustration and say, I get it. I totally understand. And I hear your frustration. And you have every right to be frustrated. What I don't agree with is, is cutting off your heart. Becoming cynical and saying, I'm, I'm going to become this robot... This why this this is the reason this is the main reason why you should just get a male dating coach. Cause girls will just put love and cut off your heart, but a dude knows the moment you cut off the heart and the moment you stop caring is the moment you live free and you start enjoying a wonderful life, dating and relationships. Cause girls like that. Oddly enough, that's what they like. You know. It just goes out and produces in the world so I can feel powerful in myself. But what they're not telling you in this movement is that there are still women out there who love men. That the whole world is not made up of 
bitchy women that there are women out there it's not about it's not about bitchy women women are not bitchy we never said women are bitchy we never said women are bitchy listen women are not angels but don't put it past them there is manipulation on both parts but you know i think men just need to realize what they get themselves into you know what i'm saying and not just live this blue pill fairy tale life right off the bat they have to understand what they get themselves into you know what i'm saying i wonder how old this lady is she looks so well she like i would say Man, she's up there. 57. Who are still compassionate, who are still tender, who still celebrate men, who see the value in men, who respect men. And so that is the secret, that all women are not bitches, that there are women who love men. In fact, I have a beautiful video that I did called Lover of Men, and I will tag you, I'll tag it in this video, because it's such a beautiful, powerful video. And I want to say that there are women out there who are ready to champion you, who are ready to love on you. But maybe, just maybe. They're ready to love on you when you take yourself out the game like this. But if a dude is out in the streets chasing, he's going to get crumbs. So it's like the gift and the curse. You know what I'm saying? You want what you can't have. But the moment you decide to to settle down with a chick that currently loves you, she's just not. She's not going to be attracted to that. So it's like, huh? So instead of shutting your heart down, maybe the bigger question is, if there are women that exist like that, how can I attract, how can I be the man that that woman feels safe with to do life, love? See, this is where you mess up again. Attraction in itself is not safe. It's really uncertain. You know, it's really a mystery. It's a mysterious. That's what makes girls go crazy. I don't know what to, I don't know what to predict from the moment you become safe is the moment you become predictable and the moment she shuts down and the moment she doesn't want to have you know, sex with you and the moment she's not no longer attracted to you. I'm crazy. How I'm, I don't know more about um, dating and attraction than this girl. She's supposed to be an expert. And relationship with. So in the comment section below, tell me, have you thought about going MGTOW and if you believe that there are still women out there that love men. Now, if you're still watching, and you know that in all of my videos, I love to encourage men at the end. Why? Because I do love men, and I see your value. Uh, one, I have to say that me making this video... She's talking to like men like children. Like, we are... This is... <laughs> this is something that would get like a lot of boys. Like, the way she talks about love and stuff. But once you grow older, and once you realize the truth, Man, this this is fluff. This is all of this is fluff. You know, I'm paying attention more to the marble floors in the black in the back. It is very vulnerable because I know as soon as this video goes up, the comment section below, I'm just going to be under major attack because I have been before by this movement. They're not always the nicest of men. Some of them can be respectful, but the majority have been very harsh. So just know that. Me making this video is already opening myself up for attack. So, but I... But what do you expect? And by, and by harsh, I'm, how harsh are we talking about? I mean, in the comment section? How can you tell if a comment is harsh? Are they cursing at you? Is it all in capital letters? Is that triggering? What exactly is, is she talking about? You know? It is what it is. Everyone's always going to disagree and they're going to have their anger and they're going to want to emotionally vomit on YouTube and, and whatever. It is what it is. But my love, you need to understand that you are a person of value and that you're far more than some productive being who can go out and be robotic and build an empire and say, that's what I did with my life. But yet you were never loved. 
that you were never valued. I don't know. People don't love that. Trust me. I don't know if you. I don't know if it's another truth bomb, man. A red pill truth bomb. People love a successful person. Period. You know. They love a successful person. So you build that empire, I guarantee they love it. People still love Steve Jobs to this day. He's been dead for 10 years. That you were never cherished. That you were never held. Every human being, when they're building their empire, how great would it be to come home and be held and be loved and to be affirmed? And to be nagged and to be complaining and to be, you know, all of this extra stuff. But if you make yourself into a cynical robot that no longer feels, that no longer has the desire for human connection, for a woman to place her body and surrender her body to you, to make love to you as a man, when you become a robot... That's all she's, she's describing. I mean, if I, I'm telling you, man, if I had to pick money, money and success and a, a love of a woman, man, dude, uh, way up here, bro. Way, way up here. You got to teach people how to go MGTOW, bro. Because, like, you know, you get the money, man. The women will come, man. The women will come. So what is she teaching, guys? Just to have, just to make love and the truth. I don't even, I don't even know. A woman can never surrender into her femininity and, and surrender to letting her body become one with you in a way that's filled with love and respect and that intensity that heat that comes from powerful love making. When you become cynical, a woman feels that from you. She shuts her body off to you. She doesn't feel Not true. Not true. This is false. 100% false. Once you become cynical and you about your life and you about yourself and you treat yourself that way, girls will throw themselves at you. Period. They will throw. They will try to gain your attention, because your attention is not towards them. So they will try to weigh. And, uh. Feel safe with you. So I want to encourage you to keep an open mind that there are women out there who do love men, and that you, my dear, you are worth being loved. So don't give up. And All right, that's enough. How old is this lady? I said fifty-seven. Anyway, man, listen, ladies ain't going to teach you about MGTOW. That's the difference. You know what I mean? That's the main difference between like a, like a dating coach, a female dating coach, and like maybe a male dating coach. But even like a male dating coach that's like sort of like has blue pill ways, he still will like kind of encourage you like go on your own way and he will probably throw some red pill truth bombs I haven't seen a lot of red pill truth bombs with girls it's almost like they avoid it like the plague but um yeah it's very interesting about love and it's just this is just a very interesting taboo I mean I, I clicked on the video I wasn't expecting much but a very taboo uh delivery anyway it was alright I mean got through it Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. One out.